Hi and welcome back to the latest video on Flogarithm. Today's video is a much simpler program and it's really aimed at my year 7 uh, computer science group. In a task that they've been asked to do in their assignment, they've been asked to write a flowchart that will um, find out whether a number is odd or even. The, uh, the basic functionality is fairly straightforward and what they've got to do once they've got the basic functionality working is add some validation into the program which I'm not going to cover in this video. So let's have a look at how they, we could solve the basic um, odd or even scenario. We'll start off by declaring a variable and we'll call this variable number. We will create a second variable and I'm going to call this odd or even. These are integer values. I'm going to ask for the user to enter a number. So uh, please enter a number. And then I'm going to take in number. Now the best way of finding out if a number is odd or even is dividing it by 2 and finding out whether there's a remainder or not. In Python and a lot of other programming languages we have the feature called uh, modular division that enables us to do this. So we shall look at that in, um, in Flogarithm. So I'm going to do an assignment and I've got my variable called odd or even and I'm going to take number and instead of using a normal division I'm going to use a percent symbol and in Flogarithm and many other programming languages Python, C and so on the percent symbol as part of a calculation means modular division. Modular division does the division but instead of giving you the number that's being divided the results it gives you how many were left over so 5 modulo 3 would be 2 left over so we'd get the answer 2. So we'll do our modulo by 2. So hopefully if we divide our number by 2 and the number is uh, even, we should get a zero remainder. And if it's odd, we should get a valued remainder. So we can test for that. So if odd or even is equal to zero, so if the remainder is zero, Then uh, so the number and be sound is even. So if the answer is zero, it must be even. And obviously, the opposite side to that. It's not that's not true. So number and be sound is odd. So let's give that a try run the program 10 10 is even try again 6 6 is even try again 3 and 3 is odd all working nice simple program to work out whether the number is odd or even